for those who likes a little bit of uh, oomph from your filmmaking and this sorry could be the present for you the latest anamorphic lens from Sandmark Last year we reviewed the Sandmark Ultra Wide Angle Lens with Charlie. We both love this lens. I think it was very good, very capable, very good alternative to any other premium smartphone lenses out there. And a few months later they also introduced this, the Cinema Kit, which is a bunch of filters basically. They have circular polarizers and a bunch of ND filters so you can get that extra oomph from that, you know, for that cinematic feel. And fast forward a few more months and we have this now. This is their latest anamorphic lens which actually quite a surprising release you know considering you know uh, I only recently just reviewed the moment anamorphic lens uh, that came out last year and before that there was the moon dog um, so this is I think the third anamorphic lens on the market for your smartphone um, I'm, I think this is actually quite special which you know I have to tell you something about why this possibly can replace the other two So what's so special about this um, Sandmark anamorphic lens? Well, optically, not much. It's actually as good as the moment and the moon dog. So for your smartphone, I don't think you have to worry about too much in terms of optical quality. It's really, really sharp and uh, it has the same characteristics from any other anamorphic lens. So you get this really lovely horizontal flare if you shoot into the um, some sort of bright objects and sun and things like that. So it's actually pretty cool if you're looking for that particular feel. And uh, in terms of distortion, also very, very similar to any anamorphic lenses out there. So you get this slight barrel distortion, which is actually a typical characteristic for any anamorphic lenses out there including the cinema kit like proper camera stuff I'm talking about so this is what it is so you can't really avoid that um, so it looks lovely and I think it's really sharp and very contrasty it works really well for any smartphone um, so that's optically no complaint the quality of this lens and well if you haven't seen our previous videos and uh, yeah go and check it out <laughs> but in my last review on the Sandmark ultra wide angle lens I actually did drop the lens so uh, and it survived just because it has a full metal build this is no different fully metal glass element so you know as good as ever teach my soul to sing your song even when my eyes can't see when I can't seem to carry on I know your hand is guiding me One thing I like about Sandmark products is about the weight because uh, especially using gimbal stuff it's cool because uh, you know it's strain it doesn't strain your motor that much because of uh, it's everything just so like especially I don't know if you remember that I actually complained about was the actual phone case itself it was very slim very flimsy doesn't actually provide you any protection having said that together with the latest anamorphic lens they do upgrade their cases so now they have a more protective case actually very very good now so um, it's still got a very slim profile it doesn't protrude too much you can still use it on any sort of uh, uh, smartphone clamps and which is actually very good and uh, I do admire for it because um, for instance if, uh, when I reviewed the moment cases and then uh, I, I think you probably heard me saying that the case was so big and bulky and thick it wouldn't fit like my normal Osmo gimbal and I had to use a bigger gimbal like this one just to do that and um, so Sandmark stuff is definitely have a point there bonus point brownie points for that just being smaller and th uh, slimmer just you can use it on other smaller gimbals um, 
In terms of the lens itself, uh, it's also lighter than Moments anamorphic lens and uh, I don't know what's the difference there, they both having metals and, thing and glass elements uh, but it is actually slightly lighter even though it has a bigger footprint compared to the Moment lens um, but other than that, it's pretty good. One more thing I do like about the, uh, the Sandmark lens is it has a filter thread which is compatible with the cinema kit which is actually excellent so if you have them lying around already if you want to introduce uh, a, a um, circular polarizing filters or just normal ND filters for your cinematic field cut down the light a little bit to use a slower frame rate you can do that with this but here's a but now you know like as much as I love the cinema kit on the wide angle lens because it's just amazing the ND filter doesn't work quite well with the anamorphic lens. I do find there is some vignetting at the corners. Actually, you see the rim of the filter. I, I, partly because I think the anamorphic lens is actually a little bit wider than the ultra wide that they already have. Um, that's one of the reasons why you actually see the corners, darkened corners on, on all sides, basically, if you use ND filters. Um, it's slightly better with the uh, the CPL, the circular polarizing filters, um, but you still see a little bit on top and the bottom corner. Um, I think the only solution is to use a step up ring to use a bigger filter, uh, but then you define upon using the basic and uh, built in, or not built in, but the cinema kit that they have already. Um, apart from that, it's still a very, very good setup, I think, and uh, I'm hoping that Sam Up will introduce another set of filters specifically designed for the anamorphic lenses. and. Uh, that would be quite good just to get rid of those corners. From the of the valley I'm in, to the ocean depths where I'm without air to breathe. From the stormy path where I lost my way, you have made a way. thought about the Sandmark anamorphic lens I actually like it a lot and I uh, already mentioned to you about handling sound because this is a very very important thing for especially for your gimbal work or just holding it somewhere else um, don't get me wrong I love the moment lens and the moment is actually very spectacular on its own very compact and um, this is yeah like I said the footprint is actually a little bit bigger but it's lighter and also coupling with the case which is actually amazing because the case is actually very slim that's another brownie point for Sandmark though because they are the only companies, well, kind of the only companies that I've reviewed so far that has premium lenses mounted on the clip. So yeah, when you get the kit together, it does come with a clip allowing to mount the anamorphic lens on any cases. You can't get better than that, you know. That means that you, when you have a new phone, for instance, you've been waiting for your new case to come out, you know. That's what happened on Moments or Bitplay or any other companies that we've used so far when they have a specific mount. You have to wait for their, their new case to come out and before you can actually use the new lens. Uh, but it, it's not the case for Sandmark though, because you can actually use the clip to use it on any phone, literally any phone, not only just the back cameras, also the front camera as well, which is actually cool. Um, you can't do that with Moment because Moment just doesn't, doesn't have a clip option at all. Uh, Big Play has it, but again, you know, like, it's slightly awkward with that and they don't have an anamorphic option. So if you were looking for anamorphic that will work with any phone, front and back, Sandmark is the case. So yes, I do love it. I do like the product. Um, the, the only thing that I, I mentioned about is the lenses. It does actually affect the image quality slightly by introducing vignetting in the corners. But apart from that, I, I really genuinely love this product. So thank you, Sandmark, for updating or giving us another really great lens for the smartphone market. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what's next. I hope you guys enjoyed the video we just did and please don't forget to subscribe our channel by clicking that button there and also enabling that notification the bell thing so you stay notified and feel that vibration in your pants uh, if you don't like that do do that and just turn off the vibration <laughs> until next time i'll see you soon and please leave uh, some comments down below if you want to see more uh yeah smartphone stuff or video stuff and uh yeah we try to accommodate and we're trying to do some more tutorials and things about filmmaking and uh, do other things gimbal whatever just let us let us know
for those who like ah oh, fuck <laughs> Last year we reviewed something from Saint Mark, you know, which is actually quite awesome. The Viangle, uh, Viangle, <laughs> Viangle lens. Last year we reviewed something quite special from Saint Mark, and which are ah, come on. <sighs> okay, right, that with that thing. Yes. Okay. Cool. Good. Oh shit. Yep. <laughs> Brilliant! Almost identical, you know, it's, it's anamorphic, so you know, it's, not, it's nothing about that, you know. Oh, must have been nothing about that. <laughs> How about, okay, uh, three, two, one. How well. How. What, what, what should I say? Yeah. Okay. Woo! Did you see that? <laughs> One thing I do particular well, okay. See a crystal there? Kryptonite for Superman. Um, they got frappuccinos. I want frappuccino now with cream. Lots of cream. Yeah, they don't have the chocolate now, no. I like the chocolate cream. Thank you.